Hey everybody, Anne here, inside the tiny house, duh, <laughs> having coffee with all of you, Papa's out romping, puppies are in here with me, it's like 30 degrees outside, just did chicken chores, it is 68 degrees in here, you know, I started a fire last night, and um, before I went to bed, and it got nice and warm and toasty in here, and uh, this morning when I woke up, it was... I think like 29 degrees out. Stop it, puppies! 29 degrees outside, but it was still like 44 degrees in here, so I'm retaining the heat. I can't wait to get the rest of this insulation up. Um, the thing that was supposed to come yesterday never arrived, uh, so it's still going to come, and it's going to help me get the insulation up, so that's just a hint. I'll get it eventually. Uh, Mr. Lucas Ladder, yeah, I don't think I want to try and use that. It's so scary. Um, anyhow, yeah, I had to crack a window this morning. Oh, pfft. look at it. <laughs> Hang on. Junior, what are you doing? What? Oh, pfft. Anyway, <laughs> they, they just want to be up on my lap. I can't wait to see what it's going to be like when they get bigger. Anyhow, you can see how warm I am. I could probably take this off, but I, I haven't even brushed my hair yet. Um, so today, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, oh, I have something else that I found out that may be here by the end of the week. Um, something in, the, in addition to the thing that was supposed to be here January 3rd, but um, two very, very critically important things are coming my way. And I can't wait to share them with you. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it just blows my freaking mind. It blows my mind, the kindness of people. So, anyhow, that's we got that to look forward to. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen today. This is the egg haul from yesterday. And yesterday alone, there are six brown eggs in there. That means six of the seven hens that I have that are of laying age all laid eggs. There's Patsy. She's only 19 weeks old, so I don't think she's going to start laying for a few weeks yet. But three from the Easter Eggers, and the one on the far left, kind of like a olivey color, almost, I don't know how to describe it. Um, I've never seen that color egg before, from what I can remember. So three of the four Easter Eggers laid. I can't believe it. I just can't believe that these chickens are still laying during the winter, but like I've said before, I am truly blessed. It is lunchtime and all I've managed to do is chicken chores. So I'm kind of hungry and I, you know what I want? I've got the hankering for a cheeseburger, a bacon cheeseburger, but I don't have any ground beef. But that's okay because you know why? I got this stuff. It's from Argusen Farms, black bean burger. Now I am not a vegan. I love my meat, but I don't always have meat around, so I figured I'm just going to give this stuff a try. And you know what? I've tried it several times, and it's delicious. So I'm going to make me a veggie burger with bacon and cheese. This is what the product looks like in the can. Yeah, I like to shake it up real good before I scoop it out. And for four patties, you need like a whole cup. But I'm just going to make myself one, probably one big patty. So I'm going to get about a half cup. And it says it needs three quarters cup for a whole cup. So I'm just going to kind of wing it, like half of three quarters, whatever that is. So I don't know, maybe like about a third of a cup. I'll know once I start stirring it. And I've made these several times, so you kind of get a feel for it. And it says to add warm water. I've never added warm water. Uh, I've just added cold water. And I just stir it up until it's all mixed and of the right consistency. And then you just got to let it sit for a little bit. That is clearly too watery. So I'm going to add a little bit more. And then let it sit. I think that's going to be plenty. All right. That's just about the consistency I want. I'm just going to kind of gather it all up into a ball and let it sit until, oh, a few minutes from now. Doesn't it look delicious? No, I know it doesn't, but I'm just going to let it sit for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or so, maybe five minutes, I can't remember how long, cover it up with a little paper towel, and then fry it up in a pan. I need to toast me some bread on my wood-burning stove. This works great. Look at that toast. Perfect. Now I'm just frying them up in a pan just like you would any other burger. And I know it doesn't look good, but I'm promising you guys it's delicious. 
Let's flip these burgers. See if it's time. Yep. Look at that. It looks like a burger, doesn't it? Let's get this other one. Oh yeah. Just a few more minutes. And I'm not going to eat both of them. <laughs> I'm just going to eat one of them. I'll save the other one for dinner tonight. All right, let's put this thing together. Oh, I need to get the cheese. Look at that. Looks good, doesn't it? For the cheese, I'm just using this Velveeta cheese sauce original. I just put a tiny little hole in the corner, then squeeze it on, and then I fold it over and put it in a little Ziploc, keep it cold, and I'll use the rest of it tonight. Kind of like a patty melt, right? And now to just finish it off with some bacon. I think that's going to be good. And there it is. It's ready to eat. Doesn't it look like a burger on the inside? I think it does. It's time to eat. The puppies want some, but they can't have any. Haha. <laughs> Alrighty, let's give this a try. I can't wait to try. I already know it's going to be great. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. It is very meat-like. It's not a meat substitute. I know it's not meat, but it satisfies me enough to make me think I'm eating an actual bacon cheeseburger. Yeah, so uh, I'll leave a link below for where you can find it. All right, it's on my Amazon uh, pantry store. Uh, I'll leave a link down there and let you know. But I really like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It just seems like a burger to me. So here it is again. Augustine Farms black bean burger mix. And let's see what it has in it. Mm, where's the ingredients? Let's see. It has black beans, which includes black beans and salt. Instant long grain white rice, gluten-free quick oats, yellow peas, cornstarch, onions, tomatoes, sea salt, chili powder. Uh, you know what chili powder is made out of. Uh, guar gum, onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, yeast extract, xanthan gum, oregano, and red pepper. Um, yeah, pretty much natural ingredients. So it's, it's pricey, but it lasts for a long time. I've had this for um, at least a month, and it's not even halfway gone. Of course, if you've got more than one person in your house, you're probably going to eat it more. But you know what? I like it. I, I will never be a vegan. Never. I love my meat. But I think this is something that maybe even meat eaters will love. So I don't know. Maybe you guys could give it a try. I like it. So I don't know. Maybe you will too. But anyhow, see all that stuff behind me? That's only a very small portion of my arsenal that I built up for my prepper pantry. <laughs> there are some good things you can buy. There's some not so good deals you can buy. Um, a lot of it is kind of pricey, but you can... You can get some good deals on it, um, so I'm going to start talking about that because um, there's different ways you can buy these products, and some of them have worked for me, and some of them were just downright awful, um, and some of them turned out to be not very good buys, so I'm going to start talking about all of that very soon. Anyhow, uh, yeah, that's my beautiful kitchen. I love it. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.